<laughs> Come with us to the John Ball Zoo in Grand Rapids, Michigan for cute animals and cool Lego animal sculptures. There is a bit of a walk from the parking lot to the entrance. To buy tickets, go to the right. If you already have tickets and bought them online like we did, you just pass on by and head on in. You can download their map online or pick one up when you get there. Check out the wave action on this tidal pool. Check out the exotic fish in the 40,000 gallon kelp forest tank. It is so cool to see fish swim right over your head. The Magellanic penguins are located in the Van Andel Living Shores Aquarium. Hey there, buddy. How's it going? In the South America section, come visit these Saki monkeys. If you're a fan of primates, you can also head over to the Mocombasso Valley to check out the troop of six chimpanzees in their three and a half acre habitat, one of the largest in the country. For all of these videos, I try to put myself in your shoes. However, if I didn't answer all of your questions in this video, please make sure to put your questions in the comments below and I will do my best to find you an answer. Make sure you visit the Lions of Lake Manyara. This habitat was constructed in 2008. If you are in a Lion King mood, the African section also includes a bongo antelope and warthogs. At first we were at this viewing window, and then we went to the overlook. Kitty whisper. Looks like he's going up to Pride Rock. Did you know that Simba is the Swahili word for lion? You can see these beautiful Chilean flamingos in the South American exhibit.
Sadly, we didn't get all of this on video, but we did get a ton of pictures. The meerkats snuck up behind me and surrounded me. I was in heaven. One of the staff told us that their zookeeper that feeds them is also blonde, and they probably thought I was her. Camel rides are $7 each, with up to three participants per ride. Yeah, you're a big old kitty, aren't you? He seriously cracks me up. Make sure to get captured on the trail cam. The Forest Realm Trail is a wooded nature walk along the back portion of the zoo overlooking Maine wolves, grizzly bears, and is home to the Crawford Tigers. Are you feeling a bit adventurous? The zoo has a 600 foot zip line and a four story ropes course. There are height, weight, and clothing restrictions, and you will have to fill out a waiver. They're $10 each or $18 for both. Red pandas are by far my favorite animal at any zoo because they are so freaking playful. <laughs> Even though red pandas and giant pandas share a name, they actually come from different families of mammals. It's like Jasmine and Aria. <laughs> Red pandas only weigh 7 to 13 pounds, where giant pandas weigh over 300. Red pandas have long fluffy tails, where giant pandas have little stumpy ones, like other bears. Red pandas are usually active around twilight, where giant pandas are active during the day. Both kinds of pandas live in mountain forest and have modified wrist bones that help them grasp bamboo There are Lego sculptures all over the park. These were hidden on a forest trail. Do you know the difference between the tortoise we saw earlier and these turtles? Well, I don't know either. How cool is this peacock spider sculpture? Next, we visited the budgie aviary. Hi, guys. Make sure we're watching our stepping here. The birds do sometimes fall on the ground. Uh, please don't touch them. And then whenever you're ready to leave, only one exit door can be open at a time, okay? Okay. okay. This walkthrough exhibit has over 200 colorful budgies which are native to Australia. You can even purchase a feed stick for $2 and have the birds eating right out of your hand. And right next door is the gym company where you can pan for gemstones. Choose from three different gym bags from $9 to $30. Pour them into your screen to reveal your treasures. Another fun kids activity is Red's Hobby Farm, which is open from 9 to 6 daily and is free. Next up, the Wild Way Trail with wallabies and lemurs.
This mama wallaby is carrying a baby in her pouch. Baby wallabies are called joeys. The most obvious difference between kangaroos and wallabies is their size. Kangaroos can grow to be as tall as 2 meters, where wallabies rarely reach heights of 1 meter tall. A less obvious difference is their teeth. Wallabies have flat teeth used to grind up leaves. Kangaroos, on the other hand, live mostly off grasses and so have curved teeth to slice up stalks of grass. The North America exhibit also has grizzly bears, mountain lions, Canadian lynx, and river otters. Small and stinky. That's <laughs> the funicular goes between the zoo entrance and the Bissell tree house. Perfect for a guest with strollers, it will take you all the way to the highest point in the zoo for a breathtaking view of downtown Grand Rapids, where you'll be able to walk entirely downhill and explore at leisure. There are a large amount of the Lego animal sculptures near the entrance, which you can enjoy at the beginning or the end of your visit. Also make sure you're on the lookout because there's quite a few scattered around the zoo. Make sure you save a little time for the souvenir shop. They have lots of cool t-shirts for adults and kids, as well as toys. If you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. For more great content, check out the Grand Rapids series. And don't forget to subscribe.